What's cooking? What's puffing? SJS Nation, SJS fam. It's your favorite girl, she Jackie says, and I am back once again on your screens with another video. So, as the topic goes, this is a part two of my previous video on my channel on things you are supposed to bring when you are coming to the university, or let me say things you are not supposed to forget when you are coming to the university. And in today's video, I just want it to be short. I am going to be telling you all things you are not supposed to bring, or things which are not important when you are coming. To to the university so thank you all for subscribing i welcome you all my new subscribers to my channel and to the new subscribers to you watching me right now if you've not subscribed please do well to subscribe don't forget to give this video a thumbs up share to a friend share to someone who will be really in need of this video and let's get right into today's video so as i said this is in relation to most universities in ghana like literally all universities in ghana uds ueu legon knust ucc uhash a lot of universities in ghana and i'm talking on behalf of most public universities i wouldn't want to say private university because i haven't really been to a private university before so i can't say so this is for most public universities and also other training colleges yeah so the first one i want to talk about is shrunk and chop boss you know you are done with high school for those in the diaspora you might be wondering what trunk and chop was is this is trunk and chop us up you understand this is trunk and chop us trunk and chop buses are meant for senior high school students when you are going to the senior high school and even in my school my senior high school yasantoa some of the dormitories in the senior high schools had closers so all we had to do was just bring a suitcase now most senior high schools are even involving so when you come to the university i please it happens every year in every university and people will definitely ridicule you or laugh at you so please don't bring trunk and chop buses to the university we don't bring trunk and chop buses you just bring your luggage every hall has closets most like literally all the halls have closets where you can keep your clothes your provisions and all those stuff so all you are coming all you have to do is just pack your stuff in a suitcase and you are good to go no trunk and chop us in the university so this is what you're not supposed to bring now the next item i have for you is washing machine why would you want to bring washing machine to the university if you can't wash yourself some people are so lazy but if you can't wash yourself there are laundry people there who would wash for you, you can have someone people around to wash for you but don't bring a washing machine it is not allowed. now the next one is don't pack all your clothes when you are coming to the university that is the mistake most people do and that is the mistake i made when i was in my first when i was coming to the university I didn't pack all but i packed most of my things and as i said when you're coming in the first semester you're coming to learn the environment you're coming to learn what goes on there how the dressing and all those kind of stuff so you don't want to pack all your clothes when you're coming to school please leave some of them at home when you're coming your first semester you learn to adapt to the campus and all that i hope you understand as you mean i school in the central region and most of the times it's very cold sometimes it's cold because of the sea and all those kind of stuff but if you school somewhere in this ashanti region you are not used to having the sea around and all those kind of stuff. you might want to come know the weather know how things are changes in weather how dressing is and everything is like before when you're coming to the next semester you bring your clothes so when you're coming please and please don't pack all your luggage some people will bring five ten suitcases chale first semester and the perk of this is that when you vacate and you are going home you don't leave your stuff behind every semester you take your stuff home trust me and most of you level hundreds watching me right now or to many more watching me right now you know that when it comes to university first every semester you take your stuff home so imagine you bring six luggages and you are staying in a botamale you're going to take all those stuff there if you are staying in Eastern Region, you're going to take all those stuffs back home. Up here, so you wouldn't get anywhere to keep it. So try as much as possible to bring few stuffs, adapt to the campus, know how things are before you bring all these clothes. Up here, so please, the first one, as I said, no chubbers, no trunk, no washing machine, and don't bring all your clothes and all your bags to school. Don't pack all of them. Come study in the environment and know that when you are going home you're going to bring all those clothes home and you don't know how hectic that is all right moving on to the next one do not bring a television set to campus reason why i'm saying this is because most of the halls most of the jcrs they have all these in place personally when i was in my hall when i was in level 100 my hall had a television in our jcr you don't want to bring this and when you come you might not even have time i have a tv in my room in my current hostel that i am in but i don't even use it because i don't have time 
It's only when someone calls me that, oh, Jackie, there's something really important on TV. You really need to watch it, and I watch it. I have TV in my room. My bed is here. My TV is there, but I don't watch it. So when you are coming to school, please and please don't. You might not even get anywhere to places. Most of you are going to go to two in a room, three in a room, four in a room. Some halls only have six in a room. You wouldn't get anywhere to keep it. I hope you understand. Try. It's not like try. Do not bring a television set. Because your halls have TVs there where if you're a guy watching me, you can go to the JCR and watch TV. If you're a lady, you can still go there and watch your telenovela or whatever program you want to watch. And when you come out level 200, as I said, most hostels outside in the diaspora, if you're wondering what a diaspora is, uh, um, how should I even say it? The halls or the hostels which are outside campus that is what we call a diaspora so if you are going outside the that if you are going to the diaspora most of those hostels there do have tvs and all those kind of stuff that you went to so don't bring a television set when you are coming to campus don't bring it to when you come you meet me at the entrance and you're going to take it back all right so let's move on to the next one now the next one air condition air condition why would you want to bring an air condition in the hall please some of the halls do have some of the modern halls do have air conditioning but trust me you wouldn't get anywhere to place the air condition hey i better go challenge don't bring but probably for standing fan this should have been in my previous video most of the times you, you might even get to campus and buy it there because especially for those who are in four in a room your rooms are compact and all those kind of stuff so you might want to get a standing fan a smaller one probably for your bed only or something like that to make the air circulation in the room much faster for you because i remember when i was in level 100 there was a fan in our room we still had to buy a standing fan because the room was damn hot it was chale so please no air condition when you are coming to school no air condition read my lips no air condition because you already have all those provided for you in your house now moving on to the next one that is some um, books like notebooks full scarves wait let me show you what i'm talking about this is what i'm talking about this is what we used to write our notes when we were in the senior high school trust me you might not want to bring this full thing to, with you when you're coming to school in level 100. you know why because when you go to the lecture halls you are not going to write notes you are not going there it's not like senior high schools where your your teacher will come and write all the notes on board on the board for you to copy no the teacher you are just going to extract some words from all your lecture that's what there's a difference between lecture and teaching i hope you understand there's a bit different between lecturing and teaching so you try and bring as much as possible you don't bring these full scabs but try and bring exercise books that is the normal exercise books that we have but these don't bring them when you are coming trust me these are meant for during our times in senior high school here in ghana this is what most senior high school students used to write their notes but when it comes to the university you don't write much notes except when you're a medical student or a law student but when you're pursuing socials and other courses you try as much as possible like everyone is going to stare at you but <laughs> those are the perks of being in level 100 at least you definitely have something to remember i'm not saying it's not good but these are the reasons that i gave to you you're not really going to write notes you are just going to because i have an exercise book which i've used since level 100 to my final year as i mean now because i just scribble whatever i'm not writing notes but i'm just deducing some information with what whatever lecture that i heard i hope you understand so don't get me wrong this is not wrong for you to bring but it's not really necessary yes and don't pack too many leisure books like the story books the novels it depends on your course that you are doing trust me there is no time in the university in my next video i'll be really deducing things for you but I'll, i just wanted to get to the basics before a step by step and trust me you might not get time to apart from when you are doing linguistics or some other you don't really have time when you're in school so these are some of the things that you're not supposed to bring when you're coming to the university and the last one i have for you guys is gas cookers when you're coming to level 100 as i know um to my best knowledge universities like university of education we need but you need to verify i remember when i was going to invest in level 100 all we knew was hot plates and all those kind. i took a hot plate when i was in level 100 but later on i realized that you could use both some universities don't allow that universities like legon most people don't use the gas cookers as you can see here most people use the hot plate if you don't know what a hot plate is this is a hot plate so most universities use the hot plate which is electrical most people don't use the gas cooker so try and find out make sure it gets into contact with your hall before you go and know that and ask them that please am i supposed to bring a gas cooker or a hot plate well i bought a hot plate some other friends of mine bought a gas cooker and it was the same i only bought a gas cooker when i was in level 
level 200 because i moved into the diaspora to go into a new hostel and that hostel chalet i was paying my own water bill my own light bill and imagine me using a hot plate to cook the thing will definitely go up so i had to buy a gas cooker to use so i wasn't using the hot plate because as you know hot plates they consume a lot of electricity so try and find out i know uew as of now most of the halls do not take in gas cookers. so try as much as possible to get a hot plate or as i said you could find out from your hall executives get into contact with them and find out but the deal is try and get a hot plate and I've already shown you what the house place is. So these are the things that you're not supposed to bring or which are not really important when you're coming to the university. As I said, they are not really, really important. And even for the ladies, you don't carry a lot of your ways at home. When you come on campus, like you are not coming to learn. It's a learning process. You were a bit younger. University actually matures you, not just the university, the training colleges and all those kind of stuff. Pardon me if I keep saying universities. I'm supposed to, so this video is for both colleges and universities, but since I'm a university student, I keep on saying university. Yeah, so guys, as I said, these are the things, and just know that university is all about, is the learning experience, and I'd always quote one of my lecturers, when you come to the university, don't just pass through the university, let the university pass through you, let it mold you, let it change you, learn a lot from it, and yeah, so I'll continue with this series of mine, this university series of mine in my next video i'll be talking about some few other important things which you also really need to know so i'm actually done with the items and the packing stuffs so if you have any other question leave them below better still you have all my information in my description box just send me a dm just send me a message and i'll gladly reply it's still your favorite girl she jackie says your hostess wear the most that's bringing you the informative the juiciest and the hottest and i am out peace guys with the strength of a woman she jackie says with the strength of a woman she jackie says